All right. Good morning, class, and thank you for coming for today's class. So today we will be doing lesson 43 and 44. Okay, this lesson is found in your CEFR Form 5 download textbook. And you can find it on page 66 to 67. So our theme is still the environment. So today we'll be focusing on writing. So if you have your textbooks, you can turn on your turn your textbooks to page 66. If you do not have, it doesn't matter. You can just follow my slides. All right. So just look at this picture. Is this a nice scene for you to see? Is this beautiful? No. Definitely no, right? Imagine this is the work of human beings. Sure, animals can't go and go to the shop and buy all these carbonated drinks, drink and throw it in the uh, drain or in wherever, you know, in the river or something like that. So this is actually all work of human beings, right? So these are all plastic. Okay, plastic can be in many forms. See, like this, they are in plastic bottles. Not only there's plastic bottles, there are also plastic bags. All right. Remember the other day we, we talked about this great um, garbage patch. All right. So uh, that that patch is actually like, you know, keep it keeps growing. So because people are very irresponsible, they keep throwing plastic everywhere. All right. Uh, so let's look at this. Let's look at this slide. So this shows how irresponsible people are. All right. People are throwing rubbish everywhere. All right. So like this, like you see plastic bottles, you know, food wrappers and all that. So this is not a good sight for us to see. Okay. And then this looks like probably either a river or an ocean or something like that because you can see water and the water also looks very dirty. All right, it's like very, you know, it's like polluted. Okay, so this is actually our environment. Okay, when, when people are irresponsible like this, what happens here is our environment is affected. All right. Okay, so today, if you look at page 66, so we will be focusing on this essay writing. All right, so when we write an essay, right, see, the opening paragraph of an essay should introduce the topic of what you are going to write about and clearly state your opinion in answer to the question in the task. Avoid simply copying the words from the task. Think of your own introduction. Describe something you know about the topic and then give your opinion using formal language. All right. So formal language here means you don't use like, you know, those contraction, you know, I-T-S, it's, uh, hers, no, uh, what, uh, it's, uh, we are, okay, we, we put it in full, it is, we are, you know, that is formal. So if you put contraction, you do the short forms, then it becomes informal language. All right. So, uh, okay, this is, this is something that you must always keep in mind. Opening paragraph an essay, of an essay should introduce the topic. If you're talking something about your essay title is about pollution, don't talk about shopping. So it has to do something to do about your topic. So don't run away from the topic. So once you run away from the topic, then the introduction is a wrong introduction. All right. So you have to focus and go back to that title. All right. Okay. So now let's look at this one. Read this extract from a writing task and circle the topic. Then read the three alternative opening paragraphs written in answer to the task and answer the questions below. Okay. Now, what are we going to do is just look at this pink color box. All right. The first box here. One reason why zoos keep animals in cages is to study them and protect them for the future. Is this a good way or a bad way to help animals? All right. So this sentence here, what is their focus? What are they trying to say? Or what are they talking about? Or what is the topic? What do you think is the topic and what is this essay going to be all about? One reason why zoos keep animals in cages is to study them and protect them for the future. 
is this a good way or a bad way to help animals so which one you think is the topic in this sentence what are we going to write about anyone can just guess can you all see this thing yes teacher yes teacher all right so what you think okay what you think what you think could be uh, the main point here or the topic that we are going to write don't look down just look inside this box one reason why zoos keep animals in cages is to study them and protect them for the future is this a good way or a bad way to help animals so what are we going to talk about here about animal in zoos ah okay so we are going to talk about the animals in zoos but they are where in the what is this cages all right you know cages right they they lock them inside a small cubicle all right so this is going to be the topic or this is the topic one reason why zoos keep animals in cages okay that is the topic so is to study them and protect them for the future is this a good or bad way to help animals all right okay so this is how we identify the topic okay so now we are we have a we have b and we have c okay so what are we going to do here is okay first we will read the a b and c all right okay let's read it let's read a animals need protecting but in my opinion zoos shouldn't keep animals in cages to study them and protect them for the future it's not a good way to help them all right okay so let's look at b zoos know that many types of wildlife are in danger if they can find ways of saving these animals by studying some of them then i think they are doing something very good for nature okay you look at a and b they are two different opinions but it has something to do with this okay you can you see they're talking about zoos animals kept in cages okay uh, so this one says a says okay animals need protecting okay they must be protected okay in my opinion okay zoos shouldn't keep animals in cages right so a is saying they should not put them inside the cage to study and protect them for the future it's not a good way to help them all right but b says zoos know that many types of wildlife are in danger if they can find ways of saving these animals by studying some of them then i think they are doing something very good for the nature all right so a and b it is like similar they are talking about this topic right so this topic is okay we keep animals in the cages because we want to study them we want to protect them for the future okay so a and b they are similar right and you see can you look at the language here shouldn't okay is this formal or is informal can you see this one shouldn't yes yes okay shouldn't is formal or informal 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 because this is this is short form this is not the full form of it so if this is in full form it should be should not understand it has to be should not all right okay so now let's look at c while animals are in increasing danger in the modern world i think we should do all we can to increase our knowledge of nature and protect it all right so is there anything to do here with zoo in c is there anything about zoo in in c no no nothing right okay only a and b talks about zoo can you see the zoo here he also got zoo whereas c is a very general Uh, statement all right so now let's try to answer this six question okay which introduction wrongly uses informal language such as contractions example they are instead of they are a b or c a 
All right, let's check our answer. Mm. Yes, it is A. Okay, this is A because you see, can you see? Shouldn't. Understand? It's supposed to be should not. Okay, so let's look at number two. Which introduction copies too many words from the task? A. Which one? Which one? Okay, it copies exactly. Okay, you're saying A. Okay, let's check the answer. The answer is A. All right, they are taking exactly whatever it is said here. Okay, protect. All right, uh, then cages. Everything is they have taken fully. Okay, so the answer is A. Okay, uh, number three. Which introduction does not introduce the topic? C. C. All right, so let's check our answer. Yes, C. See, C is like talking something else, although it's about animals, but they are not talking about zoo uh, cages. They are not talking about protecting and all that. It is like very general uh, thing about animals. Okay, so let's look at number four. Does okay, which introduction does not give an opinion on the question in the task? C. All right, let's check our answer. Yes, the answer is C. All right. Okay, because this one also, it doesn't introduce the topic. It does not give you any opinion about the topic. Okay, so let's look at number five now. Okay, which introduction correctly introduces the essay task? B. B. All right, let's check our answer. So the answer is B. Okay, so this is how you identify the uh, topic or how people introduce the topic in our, the first, like for example, in our paragraphs when we write our essay, when we expand our notes, we must not go away from what is given. All right? Okay, so let's look at this one. Okay, read this writing task and circle the topic. Okay, you have been talking about environment in class now your english teacher has asked you to write an essay for homework write your essay using all the notes and giving reasons for your points all right so let's look at this one some countries are now banning plastic bags in shops is this a good or a bad thing for shopper all right Okay, so now let's look at this. Okay, ignore the yellow line. This is for something else later. All right, so now let's look at this one. Like just now when you saw, you were able to identify, right? Animals in the zoo, in the cage. So that was the main, the topic of it. All right, so like in this uh, essay question, some countries are now banning plastic bags in shops. Is this a good idea or bad uh, bad thing for shoppers? All right. So, which one you think is the uh, the topic? Banning plastic bags in shops. All right. Very good. Okay. Banning plastic bags in shops. Okay. Meaning you you impose a ban. That means you you can't even buy the plastic bags. Like in our country, the problem here is they say plastic bags are banned. But you can still get a plastic bag by paying 20 cents, right? So, is that considered banned? No. It's definitely not a ban. No, right? It's not a ban. Because you are still allowed to use the plastic bag. And, and if you want more, you keep paying 20 cents, 20 cents. Each bag is 20 cents and you are still given plastic bags and you can still use them okay although they say the plastic bags are now biodegradable and all that it can just dissolve in water you know it, it can break down and and all that but still whatever said and done plastic bags are plastic bags and they can impose danger to the environment all right so now our focus here will be okay some countries are now banning plastic bags in shops is this a good or bad thing for shoppers? All right. So this one, now if you are going to write an essay, so your essay, it has to do something to do with shoppers. So people who go for shopping are shoppers. All right. When we go to a mall or a shop to go and buy something, we are the shopper. All right. Okay. So some notes have been given. 
see how they have come up so this one the first essay has been given to us okay so let's just see okay okay some countries are banning plastic bags and is it a good thing or bad thing for shoppers okay notes write about plastic bag a plastic rubbish water pollution and then the third one is your own idea all right so since they have given a sample of their essay so in that it is use own shopping bags so you must have these three points so your essay is not only with these three points but you must have an introduction then your three points and last one is your conclusion all right so five paragraphs you divide them accordingly okay so we will come back to that essay okay now let's look at number three read these two alternative opening paragraphs for the essay that was written in answer to the question in two decide in class which one successfully introduces the topic and the writer's opinion then tick the correct box okay let's look at a the earth could soon be covered in bits of plastic covering the countryside and ruining the oceans i think that this is wrong and what some countries are doing is good for everybody okay that is option a okay let's look at option b every day millions of plastic bags are used by shoppers for an hour or two and then thrown away i think that banning them in shops reduces the amount of rubbish in the world which is good for everybody okay so now with option a and b which one talks about this our topic here b which is related b b, b. Okay, it's obvious right the answer is b why b because can you see plastic bags used by shoppers whereas in a it is not mentioned at all it's like generally talking about plastic we don't want to know anything generally right because here the question says is it good or bad thing for shoppers so when you write your opening paragraph okay uh, when you're introducing your topic please make sure you introduce your topic as well okay if you're talking about plastic bags and shoppers you don't go and write about um you know new shops are opening or a new restaurant or something like that so it has to be related to the topic right okay so let's look at this one okay so this is the example that is given in your book on page 67 all right so the gray portion is the one in number 4 whereas this one the first paragraph remember this one just now you chose All right this one that you you chose b okay so this is the opening paragraph okay so let's look at this one all right so we have paragraph 1 okay which is the opening or the introduction so every day millions of people millions of plastic bags are used by shoppers for an hour or two and then thrown away i think that banning them in shops reduces the amount of rubbish in the world which is good for everyone okay so let's look at paragraph 2 so paragraph 2 is point 1 so what was the point 1 just now plastic rubbish right okay so first of all a huge proportion of our rubbish is made of plastic which does not decompose like paper and any other waste products plastic takes years to disappear from the land all right so that was point 1 so point 2 was water pollution right just now we saw right okay i gave you point 2 was water pollution so let's see where is this water pollution coming all right in addition many of the world's oceans and rivers are polluted by millions of plastic bags which are a danger to fish and other animals all right can you see that's where the water pollution comes ducks and birds can get trapped in them and die for instance the fish get slowly poisoned if they eat them all right so that was paragraph 2 and paragraph 3 and point 2 okay so let's look at the next one moreover okay the the next one is your own idea right 
Okay, so moreover, there is no need for plastic bags in shops. People can easily get used to taking their own shopping bags with them when they go out. So that is paragraph 4 and point 3. All right, so we have come to the last paragraph, which is paragraph 5, the conclusion or the closure. All right, all in all, I think more and more countries should stop shops using dangerous and unnecessary plastic bags. The world would be a much better place without them. All right, so you see here, uh, this one, the world would be a much better place without them. All right, so it goes back to answering our question, this one. Is this a good or a bad thing for shopper? So it makes the world a better place. So meaning, is that good for the shopper or is it bad for the shopper? But if we ban plastic, what will happen? See, rubbish is made of plastic. So that talks about the first point. Then oceans and rivers are polluted. So that is water pollution. Then use own shopping bags. All right? Okay. And then this is your introduction and this is your conclusion. All right? Can you see that? How it is written? Yes. All right? So this is how people write an essay. Okay, you don't go far away. I did not talk anything else. I didn't say, you know, we can go to the mall and go and have some food. You know, you have to be like consistent and be along your track. All right. So if your topic is this, you talk about that. Don't bring in any other unwanted things inside. All right. Okay. Okay. So now let's look at this number four. Okay. Now read the rest of the essay. So this was the essay that we read just now. Okay, so this is actually number four. All right. So underline the main points the writer makes about okay, notes one and two. All right. So let's look at this. So what is the, the writer trying to say? Okay, first of all, huge proportion of our rubbish is made of plastic, which does not decompose like paper and other waste products. Okay, plastic takes years to uh, disappear from the land. All right. So here, the main point here, okay, although it's talking about plastic bag, but the plastic plastic bag does not decompose. Okay, remember a few lessons ago, we read or we listened about this one guy, 16-year-old boy. He actually uh, invented or he actually found that there's some kind of a bacteria that can decompose plastic and it will break down the plastic faster. All right. So that's all also, I mean, it incurs a cost. All right. So like this, it talks about uh, why uh, plastic can pose a danger to the environment. Okay. Because it does not decompose like paper. If you wet a piece of paper, the paper will be destroyed easily. Whereas if you use plastic, plastic will be there forever. All right. Okay. And then let's look at... Uh, Notes in number two. So the, the next paragraph. Okay, in addition, many of the world's oceans and rivers are polluted by millions of plastic bags. Okay, remember just now we spoke about okay, this, this point, right? Rivers and okay, oceans are polluted. Okay, so this is water pollution. Okay, so the note that they are making here is if there is water pollution, then what is going to happen? If the river is polluted, so what is going to happen? What will happen if the river is polluted? What danger is going to cause? Okay, look at this paragraph. Look at this paragraph. So, so what? What do you think? If the river is polluted, so what? Right. So, who is going to get affected? Are you living in the river? Or are you living in the ocean? No. Uh, so, who is going to get affected? Or what is going to get affected? Animal. All right. So fish and animals will be affected here. All right. So, okay. So let's look at this one. Underline the main point the writer makes as a third idea here. Okay. Okay. So you see, yeah, just now you said you bring your own shopping bag. So that means what? So if you bring your own shopping bag means 
you there's no need for plastic bags in the shop so everybody brings their own recycling bag or you know like their shopping cart or something like that like a little trolley or whatsoever so meaning if you bring your own then there is no necessity for us to actually get plastic bags from the seller or from the shops all right okay okay so let's look at number 3 In which paragraph does the writer use examples to support one of the points? Okay, so if you can, if you look at this one, ah, uh, paragraph one, this first paragraph, second, and the third. All right. So if you can only see this in paragraph three, okay, he uses examples. So the examples are what, like, if you bring your own plastic bag, you do not need to. Uh, use sorry. If you bring your own shopping bags, then you do not. There's an there's no need for plastic bags. So this is how the writer is using examples to support the main points. All right. Okay. So now let's look at our next thing. Okay. So now we are going to. I have come up with an example essay. All right. So let's look at this. Read this writing task and then use the plan below. and the language bank to help you write your essay when you have finished your essay essay check your work carefully okay you have been talking about the environment in class now your english teacher has asked you to write an essay for homework write your essay using all the notes and giving reasons for your point of view all right so let's look at this one this is our topic here many people have decided to grow their own food these days is this a good thing or a bad thing for people okay here meaning if you say growing your own okay to grow own food that doesn't mean that you know uh, you grow biscuits you grow you know chips and all that actually growing food here means it is fruits and vegetables all right so is this a good thing for you to grow your own food Yes or no? No. Okay, of course it is. Yes, because it is cleaner, it is safer. All right, you don't put all the pesticides and all that. So you protect your own vegetables at home. All right. So here. So let's look at the notes given here. So number 1, food from shops. All right. So see many people decided to grow their own food these days. So is this a good thing or a bad thing? So write about food from shops so you can talk about food that you buy from the shop are they good or are they bad okay and then prices and costs so you can talk about the the amount of money that you pay to buy something the food all right and then the third one okay so here we are talking about growing our own food so meaning you probably have a small garden in your house you plant vegetables you you plant fruits so your idea here Okay this idea is I mean I've come up with this my own idea here so if I'm going to talk about food from shops and I'm going to talk about price then the next thing is I'm definitely going to talk about gardening tools right if I'm going to plant my own uh, vegetables I need a place to plant I need gardening tools okay I need all whatever things that I need to plant I definitely need it right okay so I have come up with something like this All right. So before we go, okay. So what you have to do, you plan out your essay, like how just now I told you, right? You have your introduction and all that. So you plan out. Okay. So paragraph one, introduce the topic and your opinion. What you think? Do you think it is it is okay to be, uh, to you know, to decline something or to give your opinion against the topic? Like you know, they say it is good to grow vegetables, your own food. but for you you may probably say no i think it's a bad thing to do uh, it is fine it it doesn't mean that you must choose the positive answer you can choose the negative answer but you must come up with points relating to it all right so like this for example so paragraph 1 you introduce the topic and your opinion and then in paragraph 2 you make points about shop food and I mean to support your opinion. All right, and then in paragraph three, make points about prices and costs to support your opinion. And then in paragraph four, 
use your own idea in support or contrast. You see, here you can either agree or you can disagree. You can say vegetables are very cheap these days. If you go to NSK, you can just buy them for, you know, like, you know, the price is like so cheap. You can either say like that or you can say vegetables are very expensive now. So it is the, the best thing is to do is to plant your own. All right. And then number five, paragraph five. Okay. Restate your opinion using different words and add a comment. Okay. So this one will relate back to the topic. Okay. It has to be connected to the topic. Right? Don't give me a conclusion which has got nothing to do with the topic. All right. Okay. So let's look at this one. So this is how I have done my paragraphs. Okay. So this is the main topic. So every time when I tell my students, I want you to plan out your essay. When you write your essay, don't simply write as you wish. Okay. Please plan it out. Okay, put your five points. Okay, so this is our topic. Many people have decided to grow their own food these days. Is this a good thing or a bad thing for people? All right, so first paragraph. So paragraph one, what is our focus? It is the opening. Relate to the question. Introduce the topic, growing own food. Understand? So that has to be your paragraph one. All right. Okay, then paragraph two. Food from shops. Okay, but here I am going to agree to this topic. So, meaning I'm going to say it is good for people to grow their own food. So, I am going to say here food from shops not always safe. Okay, that is my view. So, you can say if you are not agreeing to this topic, you can still say food from the shops are very safe. All right. Okay, and then in paragraph 3, okay, I want to say prices and cost of food. Okay, it is very expensive here. That is why it is cheaper to grow ourselves. All right, so this is my view. So you can say prices of growing your own is very expensive because uh, probably you can say you live in a, in a condo. So you don't have a piece of land or whatsoever. So and and it's like you know for you to buy planters and all that is very expensive, and then to buy the fertilizers and then taking care of it. So you say for you it probably it is a problem. All right. So let's look at paragraph four. Okay. So in paragraph four, since I am agreeing to this topic, so I'm saying. Gardening tools are easily available and they are so cheap. All right. So later I'm going to give an example where you can go and buy your gardening tools. And then finally, paragraph five, you do your conclusion or your closure. Okay. And then don't forget to answer this question. Is this a good thing or a bad thing for people? All right. You can either answer this in the beginning. Or you can answer this at the end. Understand? Can you all see this picture here, class? Yes, teacher. All right. So this is how you start. Before you start writing, you please come up with this draft. Don't simply write something and don't repeat your points. All right. Opening, paragraph, paragraph one opening, then point one, point two, point three, and then your closure so you will get a clear picture what to write okay your your entire you no know, your essay is very well planned all right so i'm going to give you an example all right you see yeah back to my points this is how i have written people these days have realized that growing their own food is the best way to be healthy growing your own fruits and vegetables encourages us to reduce the pesticides used in the garden and make our produce safe for consumption. Not only that, but it also makes us appreciate the nature. So this is my opening. So paragraph one, shop food is not always safe. Although it is easier and convenient to rely on shop food, it has no guarantee how the food was produced and sold. As the saying goes, food is the way to man's 
to a man's heart. We must ensure we eat good food. For instance, store-bought organic vegetables are very pricey. Instead, we can grow them in our garden for so much lesser the price. You see, I'm talking about shop food, not safe, right? Okay. In addition, price of food also plays a significant role in buying food. Why should we spend so much money to buy a certain type of food which we can grow them ourselves with a fraction of the cost? Okay, here I'm saying if you plant, you actually save a lot of money. Okay, moreover, gardening tools are easily available these days and they are extremely cheap. You will be surprised to find gardening equipment in economy-friendly shops for about 2 ringgit 10 cents each, which are in acceptable quality. All right. So, so you see, you can even just go to the 2 ringgit 10 cents shop and you can buy gardening tools. This is how I'm supporting my idea here. All right. And then conclusion. All in all, I think everyone must realize the benefits of growing their own food. This idea is a good one not only to lead a healthy life, but to protect the environment. You see, here at the end, I am concluding the essay. And in the same time, I am answering my question and I'm agreeing to it, saying that it is a good idea to grow your own, um, own food. Okay, can you see this essay? Yes, teacher. Okay, you see, yeah, I have come up with the points and then I, you know, I've like divided and then I've put them in the paragraph. So, this is how you have to write. All right. So, what we're going to do today is, all right, so we are going to use, you know, the, the topic earlier just now, the use of uh, the ban. Okay, Malaysia must ban the use of plastic bags. So, earlier we saw about banning plastic bags in shops. Okay, so what are you going to do is write an essay in about 150 to 200 words using all the notes given and giving reasons for your point of view. All right, so like this, Malaysia must ban the use of plastic bag. Is this a good or bad idea? All right, so here, introduction, plastic thrown everywhere. Then the first First uh, point, plastic rubbish, dangerous for the environment. Okay, third one, it can cause water pollution, danger to fish. Okay, next one, plastic bags for shopping must stop. And then conclusion, reinforce the questions. All right, so you can get idea from the first uh, essay that we did today. All right, so what you have to do is you come up with your points. All right, so what you do... Um, Okay, so what you do, you come up with your own points. You just use this guide. Okay, so what you do, you write it out in five paragraphs using these points, but you make this in Malaysian context, okay, in our country. So how are you going to write and expand these notes? Okay, you can use the, <clears throat> the example given in the textbook as a guide. All right. Okay, so this one, later, you I will post this in our Telegram group. So what I want you to do is, you do this essay, you write it out, you screenshot and you send me to me in Telegram. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Okay, do you all understand, class? Okay, so you write this essay in your book and you take a picture and you can send it to me in my Telegram, right? Okay, so this is your work for today. All right, so each one of us can make a difference. Together, we can make a change. So the environment is our responsibility. We have to take care of the environment. All right, so thank you for joining today's class.